in London. Lesson three. It's dusk, and you pass a stranger in the street. Greet them politely. Good, Good evening. evening. To take the conversation further, talk about the weather. Real brolly buster, isn't it? Fact. Londoners have 107 ways to say that it is raining. Can I have the last sandwich? Nice oh, no, I need that. A wise bear always keeps a marmalade sandwich in his hat in case of emergency. Have opened and it's bucketing down. <laughs> Follow these simple rules and you will always feel at home in London. Hello. You hungry? Me too. But this is all I've got left, and it's really just for emergency. Oh, go on then. Ah, right, I see what I've done. Um, come on, you can't all be having emergencies. I was actually beginning to think nobody would give me a home, but this... That's right. This will suit me down to the ground. Thank you very much. Uh, we're not giving you a home. Oh? It's just for the night. Oh. You see, when a young person comes to this country, I'm afraid they don't just move in with the first people they meet. No? You need a proper guardian. What's that? It's a grown-up who takes you into their home and looks after you. Like you? Um... Yes, well, I suppose so. But not you. No, we don't do that. It's normally someone you know. But what if you don't know anybody? Well, in that case, the authorities will house you in some kind of government facility. What? Like an orphanage? No, 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 not an orphanage. It would be more like an institution for young souls whose parents have, sadly, Passed on. Oh. Well, what about the explorer? Who? The man who visited us in darkest Peru. He said we'd always be welcome. Well, what's his name? You could go now. Ooh. Well, I don't know his human name. Well, my uncle and aunt hadn't learnt much English back then, so they always called him. <laughs> there can't be that many explorers who've been to Peru. Maybe we can find him. Without a name, I wouldn't get your hopes up. Oh. Right, come on, you. Pajamas. Um, uh, Jonathan! Um, Walk! <sighs> Don't worry, Paddington. We'll find him. Oh, thank you. Let's look in the encyclopedia. Unless, of course, you'd like to freshen up first. I beg your pardon? Oh, you know, use the facilities. Most people do after a long journey. Oh. Well, if that's what most people do, then I'd like to do that. Top of the stairs. Top of the... Ah, stairs. Oh, <clears throat> OK. Oh, going that way. <clears throat> Got it. <coughs> you all right? All good. He's all right. Now, watch out. There are thieves, murderers and pickpockets on every platform. So follow us and do exactly as you're told. Right ho. Thank 
Thank you. Officer. So, about the authorities, I've printed off directions for where you're going. Oh, laminated. And the green arrows are just... Thank you, darling. Exactly where I'm going. Um, hmm? where's Paddington? What? Oh, Paddington! 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 to my friend's antique shop. Why don't we walk? Hello there. Oh, wait a minute. Very subtle. Oh, oh Paddington! The gentleman dropped his wallet! Where is he? Lie down! Stop! Come back! What's he doing? Excuse me. Coming through. Just trying to return some lost property. <laughs> Tiny police bear. What do you think you're doing? Get away from here! Leave my dog alone! Do you want a biscuit? Charlie Delta, officer in distress, urgent assistance required. Go, go, go! Contains Shakespeare's most famous stage directions. Exit uh, pursued by uh, Paddington. Paddington. <laughs> you dropped your wallet. Oh, gosh, you've got quite a few. He certainly has. No, you don't understand. I was just trying to return some lost property. Oh, hello, Judy. Do you know that bear? Um, he's awesome. He's yeah, he's called Paddington. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, really? I just did what any bear would do. I can't thank you enough. That scoundrel has been pocket-picketing people around here for weeks. He was extraordinary. And he gave me a chance to look at his hat. You see, this is no ordinary hat. No? No. These markings mean that it was made for a member of the Geographer's Guild. What's that? It is a very old explorer's club. Go and see them in the morning, and if luck has been smiling on your face, they should be able to tell you who they made it for. Maybe you and Dad just need a fresh start. Hmm. 
Suppose I didn't make the best first impression. Don't take this the wrong way, but why don't we try to make you look a bit more presentable? Hang on a minute. You're not talking about the facilities. The lights, Paddington. Not that bad. It is that bad. Isn't it rain enough in this city without having showers in the house? <laughs> We are parents now, and we have to protect our children. We do! They're screaming! No, darling, that's the sound of laughter. <laughs> wind. Hot wind. Too hot wind. I don't like it. Well, I hope I don't look weird after all that. Too much? Too much. Too much? <laughs> well, give me a brush, will you? <laughs> ah, there it is. Small duffel coat. Actually, it was mine first. Well, long before that, it was mine. Oh, was it, Mr. Brown? Really? He wore it in his first day at school. It's lovely. Wooden buttons for ease of pull. And these two sandwich compartments are an excellent idea. I must say, it suits you very well. I never thought I'd like a human coat, but... You look like one of the family. Oh. You're not going to send Paddington to the authorities, are you? You will try the drug for skilled. Yes, all right. We'll yes. see if they know anything. But if it's a dead end... I'm sure it won't be. Thank you very much, Mr. Brown. Welcome to the Geographer's Guild. Are you members? No, but we are looking for one of your members. The name? We don't actually know the name, but we do know he went on an expedition you funded to Darkest Peru. Darkest Peru? never been to Peru. What? But you must have done. I can see you're very busy. Perhaps we could just go and check? There are over two million letters, diaries, and artifacts up in our archive, meticulously filed, and they don't stay that way by letting strange men and their bears rummage around. Well, now, listen. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Come on, then, Paddington. Paddington? Paddington? Paddington! Psst. Mr. Brown, in here. What are you doing? We need to get into that archive. Oh. Mm -hmm. Paddington, please don't take this the wrong way, but are you certain there was an explorer? You didn't just find a hat and make up some... What? Why are you looking at me like that? Is it me or is it hot in here? Why do I feel so... Uncomfortable. Mm. Flushed. Mm. Queasy. Mm. It's called a hard stare. My aunt taught me to do them when people had forgotten their manners. Oh, give me strength. Mr. Brown, you can trust me. There really was an explorer. And if we can find him, I know he'll give me a home. A proper home, like yours. Now, I've got an idea, but I'm going to need your help. <laughs> Home so early. 
Something rather special going on in here. More sugar, please. Oh, look at this. Hello, everyone. Hi, Dad. Hi, big fella. What's cooking? Marmalade, Mr. Brown. Mm. Go on, have a taste. Mmm, delicious. Mm. And just one sandwich contains all the vitamins and minerals a bear needs for the whole day. So, does that mean I don't have to eat vegetables? He said bear, not boy. <laughs> Sorry, Jonathan. Thank you, Judy. Judy. Now, has anyone seen... Ah, thank you, Mrs. Bird. I think every home should have a marmalade day. And a bear. Especially a bear. <laughs> Home. Guess what, Paddington? Mm -hmm. The steam fair's coming to town. Mm. I'm going along tonight to write about it in my newspaper. Mm. Who's going to want to read about that? Everyone. <laughs> we travel the world in an old steam train. I thought you'd love it. I do. Don't tell anyone, OK? Not cool. Why don't we all go? Good idea. Father's a dab hand at the coconut shy. Mm. Or Zay Brown, they used to call him. Well, not anymore. Coconuts are a young man's game. Well, I think you're in great shape for a man your age, Mr Brown. Ah, thank you, Paddington. Hang on, how old do you think I am? Oh, uh, about 80? 80? At least. Just a minute, young bear. Hmm? I thought I told you to wash behind your ears. Oh, but I did, Mrs Bird. I... I wonder how that got in there. This, uh, this pop-up book, do you know it? I know of it, but I was led to believe it was lost. Where on earth did you find it? Oh, at Mr Gruber's antique shop. He's keeping it to one side for me, but I really need a job. I don't suppose you have any advice, do you? No, no, no. I imagine you just have to start at the bottom of the ladder and work your way up. <laughs> do you know what, Mr Buchanan? Hmm? You've just given me the most brilliant idea. Have I? I'm going to be a window cleaner. Sure, Colonel. They're awfully dirty. I don't care, and I'm not paying. Perhaps I'll do them anyway.
Good afternoon, Colonel. You're where? Is a bear on your roof? Yes. He seems to be cleaning my windows. Shall I do your gutters while I'm up here? Uh, yes. Uh, thank you. Well, of course, it's not for me to say, Colonel, but I wouldn't care to have an undesirable crawling all over my premises and as commander of your community defence force. Is that an official position, Mr Curry? Or have you just bought yourself a yellow coat? Got my eye on you, bear! Oh, sorry. Three, two, five. Three, two, six. Three, two, seven. Here goes Paddington. Manners. Morning. Good morning. How would you like to start a gardening club? How'd you like to be buried in a very deep hole? After you. Spooner R. Workshop. Brown P. Laundry Duty.